we're joined by Lily King. If anyone's in back and would like to join us, we're, uh, we're joined up here by Lily King, one of four first-time Olympians who won tonight. Lily took it home in the 100-meter brushstroke. So uh, before we take questions, uh, Lily, just describe uh, your emotions when you hit the wall, turned around, saw the scoreboard, and saw the number one next to your name. Yeah, I mean, it's a great feeling. I, I just kind of felt that I was going to win tonight, and um, it happened, so I'm, I'm really excited with the time and to be an Olympian, and that's so cool to say right now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be representing Team USA in Rio. Have the emotions started kicking in a little bit more in, in the half hour or hour or so since you made it? Not yet, actually. I'm still, I'm still pretty calm for you know making my first Olympic team, but I'm sure it'll set in the next uh, couple hours or days or two. I just got my letter from Frank telling me you know I'm going to Rio. It's official now, so I'm really excited. When you're behind the blocks, did you, could you tell like this is the biggest race of my life? There's pressure on me. I need to do something here. Oh, of course. Um, I was actually super calm, like um, for prelims and for semis. So I was like kind of confused why that was going on because I'm usually like not nervous but you know just super hyper before my races and um, but today it did kind of set in I was like oh oh my gosh um, yeah this is the final don't screw up don't screw up I think that's what I was saying most in my head um, so you're gonna have the 200 breaststroke later in the week mm -hmm. an event that like we talked about at NCAAs has really come on over the mm -hmm. past year um, how are you feeling going into that one is it, I mean is the pressure really off and because it is sort of your off event and yeah. you've made it already? Yeah, I think the pressure is off a little bit. Um, you know, the 100 has been kind of my bread and butter event since I guess I was 10 years old. So um, I'm looking forward to having a good 200. It's a little bit different than yards. So, um, you know, my race strategy is still a little bit shaky. But hopefully, you know, I'll be able to have a good swim and, and make the team in that as well. We'll go to Joe. Uh, simple. When, when was the first time you really started thinking about the Olympics? Um, I'd say the first time I started thinking about the Olympics, I was 16. It was right after Junior Nationals. I'd just broken a minute. Um, I won. I think that was the time where I really realized that, like, I could hang with the people who had been beating me, who had made the Olympic team. Um, so that was, like, I guess that first moment of self-belief for me. What's your first memory of watching swimming in the Olympics? <sighs> Jeez, okay. I think my first memory of watching swimming in the Olympics was 2004 games, so I think I was seven. Um, but I don't really remember specific things because I was seven, but I do remember watching. That was my first Olympics. Did you want to go there? I mean, did you think about it then since you were three? What was that? Sorry. The question was, did you think about in 2004 as a seven-year-old watching the Olympics that maybe that could be me or I want to do that someday? Um, I guess so. I mean, I didn't. I had just started swimming when I was seven, so I, you know, it was cool. It was exciting, and uh, I guess I thought it'd be neat to go. But you know, I was still just a little kid, so it wasn't really completely implanted in my mind yet. We'll go to Mike, real quick. You you told us at the mix zone that you hadn't really trained before you came to mm -hmm. Indiana. Tell us a little bit about what you have been doing during the past season to prepare and get to where you are now. Yeah, um, I really just started training with, you know, I finally had people to train with and race at practice. And um, so basically right now I'm doing 10 water workouts a week and then three lifting sessions. So that was, you know, way almost double what I was doing before I got to college. And then I have two breaststroke workouts a week and, you know, I get to race with all the guys and it's, it's um, just a great team atmosphere. So that's kind of where I am right now. So last night, obviously, you guys had a pretty big moment when yeah. Cody Miller made the Olympic team. Talk about the emotions when you saw that happen and then how, that, how you sort of carried that energy from that. Yeah, I was, I was really worried about Cody making it, um, but I knew he had it in him. And, and it was actually the heat right after my semifinal. So I came out, you know, went in the mix zone, did a couple interviews, and then literally dropped all of my stuff on the floor and ran up to the stands to watch Cody swim. And then he made it. It was just a huge relief for all of us. And I'm so excited for him. And um, But I do think that took a little bit of pressure off me because, you know, I knew that, you know, Cody's doing the exact same training that I'm doing. We basically swim every single workout together. Um, so I knew that it had, the work had, um, you know, pull off for him, so it was going to probably work the same way for me.
and then having Miranda there in the final, getting in because Margalis scratched. Mm -hmm. What did that mean to you guys you know, as, as a breaststroke group? Yeah, it was great. I mean, you know, super excited for her to make the final. It was just um, a great moment for IU breaststroke. And, and I think, you know, going into the future, I think peop our, people's eyes are going to be on us a little bit more than they have been in the past. What's it been like working with Ray? Can you give us a little bit of idea of what, what he's done for you over the past season? Yeah, Ray is probably one of the most enthusiastic people I've ever met in my life, which can kind of get obnoxious at practice sometimes, but um, it does make it a lot easier to perform so well in practice because um, our breaststroke group, basically, everything we do is all out, you know, at 100 pace, at 200 pace, and it's probably, you know, 7,500 yards of things at, you know, a certain pace, which is really difficult to, to perform that well in practice over and over and over again. Um, but he's just so supportive through everything, and um, he really he really takes care of me. So I'm really thankful to have him. If there are no further questions, we'll say congratulations to Lily King, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Actually, we have we do have one more. Olivia Smolio is coming. So thank you. All right, cool. Thank you.